I got in here this morning and went over the news, and it just absolutely mortified me. Because the criminal elements of government and corporations are in a pedal to the metal, balls to the walls, mock tin hair on fire, bum rush, counter offensive against common sense and humanity. Now they see us waking up and speaking out and, 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 and acting like free people as a counter offensive. We're just trying to survive and get some oxygen into our lungs. We're just trying to build a civilization for our families and our children. But the control freaks have all convinced themselves that they're better than us and that uh, they deserve to rule over us. And what's happening is the Western world under Agenda 21 is publicly being shut down. They are publicly collapsing the entire Western world while trying to collapse the third world as well. That came out uh, almost four years ago in the Copenhagen documents where they were going to have right at double the carbon taxes on the third world they were going to have on the West. And they had told the third world, "You, we're going to shut down the wealthy West and give you all the money, trying to use uh, class envy. And of course, then the treaty came out and it was a anti-human manifesto of Agenda 21 Part 2. And this is what we're under. And the frustration is, for somebody that's read Agenda 21 and somebody who's read the accompanying documents and someone who studies all of this, then I read internment and resettlement operations FM3-3940 and even more importantly, the master document that's been reissued since about 1998 over and over again at the RAND Corporation's own website. It's thousands of pages long. The latest edition is uh, 200 plus pages. A stability police force for the United States, justification and options for creating U.S. capabilities. Over the years, I have read different versions of this, sc scanned over it. Last night, uh, I spent about an hour here at the office and about two hours at home rereading it. And it made me physically ill. Physically ill. Um, I actually got nauseous. Probably just I was so exhausted and about 2 a.m. went in and almost threw up. But it was psychologically being so obsessed with reality and knowing everything about the program. And when I see cops and I see training and I see newscast, I know it's just the latest incremental rollout. And the cops and the media don't know this. People don't go read all this. This says UN-directed, occupied federal police under the Department of Defense via the Rural Affairs Council which you now have under Obama in place, though this was proposed in 98, literally calling it a stability force, police force for the United States, and talking about how it's the UN-NATO model in all the countries they've occupied, and how they're going to interrogate us, how they're going to break us down, how they're going to phase in banning protest by free speech zones and then saying protesting isn't safe and how they're going to phase out liberty. But they they propose it as a service to humanity brought to you by the United Nations and uh, Interpol. And even the average constitutional lawyer is not going to read this. And About 2 a.m., I just got on my knees in the living room, and I said, God, do we have to go through this? Because I know what's going to unfold. I know the whole program. It's so horrible. They're just going to keep turning all the industry off. In fact, there's an article in there in the broadcast studio in the control room, Austin American Statesman. Will you bring me the Austin American Statesman from Monday? Or maybe it's Sunday. The headline it was Monday. Uh, the headline was uh, Poor Flood to Texas, to Austin as the rest of the country collapses. And it's going to be like this everywhere. And people that still have jobs are going to be hunted by the criminals. 
and hunted by the parasitic government and corporations. And it's just trampling and being trampled on. And they are imploding the world and then posing as the saviors of the stability force while they do it. And I have a stack of news here today. One of them is linked up on DrudgeReport.com on the left-hand side. Armed Homeland Guards protect IRS from Tea Party protesters. And I just look at this whole criminal class. Even the IRS is illegal. Uh, threatening you with perjury if you don't fill out all these, you know, hundreds of forms that no one can get right because it's not meant to be gotten right so they can make you a criminal and take everything you've got. And then most of the politicians don't even pay taxes. The big mega banks don't pay any taxes. That's on record. I mean, it's just a total mafia now saying the answer is make us all poor so that we're not uppity and then posing as saviors while they implode it all. And then Congress tries to reassert itself and says, let us see all these documents. And IRS says, no, we're not going to show them to you. Well, they should all be arrested, but they won't be. And the head of the IRS division, who's been caught running the persecution, obviously ordered to do it. I've seen MSNBC three years ago. By the way, we found the clips. And then they, and in the last few days, they've been saying, of course, we target the Tea Party. They're racist and deserve to be arrested. They deserve to be a spied on without warrants. And the, and, the, and, the, and the thing is, these idiot Democrat minions, they're being chemtrailed. They're being given deadly shots. They're eating GMO. Their kids are mentally retarded. Their IQs are dropping. I mean, all over the U.S., folks, we lead the world. The IQs have dropped. I was saying 10 points. That was like 15-year-old data. It's like 20 points. Pretty soon. It, it, look, 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 you know, the, the good news for all of you is this isn't going to go on much longer. In the H1N1 vaccine and the rest of it uh, are the, quote, stress vaccine. And what it is is a virus that actually eats part of your brain. And that's why the public, most of them can't even do anything anymore. I mean, it's already, they're already killing everybody. It's unbelievable. And it's just going to get incrementally crazier and crazier. And, I mean, I'm up at 2 a.m. reading how they're going to occupy us with U.N. troops. And then knowing when I come on today and show you out of this document where they say all of it, out of the Rand Corporation Arroyo Center, that I've read every year's permutation. I hadn't looked at this in about a year, so I pulled it up yesterday, and it was even worse. I mean, it describes it all in there, how they're going to occupy us, and it even shows the blue and white trucks for the Sustainability Police Force. And by the way, it was those same blue and white trucks confronting and getting in the face of the peaceful Tea Partiers, going to the IRS, and, and the feds are there with cameras videotaping them, trying to intimidate them. There's feds in black suits standing there, bugging their eyes out at people as they walk by in the parking lot. And then and then people go over and try to talk to them, and then the arrogance goes out of the face of the, uh, of the fed, and he m touches the guy and says, move along. I mean, just idiots, idiots, thinking they're on a winning team for a globalist soft-killed, incremental siege destruction system. I mean, we're going to see toll roads put everywhere, everything bankrupted, all the small businesses shut down by design, and just the destruction of prosperity with the globalist exempt from everything, buying everything up and everyone kissing their butts. And then the crime's going to be so bad, you're going to be glad to see security guards. You're going to be glad to see cops in black uniforms. You're going to be glad because the petty crime is going up all over the country. Not the violent crime, because they're afraid of that, because they know people have guns. But the petty crime's exploding. But it won't matter. You'll see it as protection. But then, meanwhile, the system, through a hundred other ways, is going to absolutely drain you, no matter how much money you make, if you're not an insider, you will pay 100% tax. 100%. Reuters reported France now has a 100% tax rate. I tried to do the math last year when I saw the numbers. 75% national tax on middle class and wealthy. And then another 75% on that, but I couldn't add up all the local other taxes. But Reuters reported that it's 100% percent there it is taxes on some wealthy french tops 100 percent what did thomas jefferson say the level of tyranny will be you live under 
whatever level you put up with, it is maximum evil. Maximum. I started reading again, and I'm going to cover this in the third hour today. A sustainability police force for the United States. Justification and options for creating U.S. capabilities. And the first time I read this, the Austin American States put out an article in 1998. This is a new version, updated. And it said, oh, there's going to be terror attacks in America soon. And Rand Corporation says we need to get rid of our freedom and have troops on every corner and spies everywhere. But this will be our new economy. And it's going to be great. And, uh, it, and, and so I went to the UT Law Library, couldn't find it online at the time, got a copy of it, checked it out. They acted like secret agents when I tried to get a copy of it from them. They had it back in the stacks that only PhDs could get, but somebody was a fan there, so they let me have it. And I read the thing, and it, 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 it was everything they've now set up. You read the Rand Corporation documents on, on federal police force, sustainability force, from 1998, folks, it's all happened now. Now, that's why I'm freaked out. Man, you read the new one. It, you know, the reason it's, it, it's, a, it, it's a cross between getting a chill, getting tears in my eyes, and also going into rage, that what am I supposed to do to get the public and everybody to realize this is a criminal takeover, admittedly. And they talk about a, a, a stability program, just like the British Ministry of Defense 2007 report. Guys, you type in flash mobs, British report. It's London Guardian top link. And print me that report as well. It's a 90-something page report. The London Guardian article had the link to it. And it describes how society is going to collapse. But what they don't tell you in these reports is what's in the other reports, the Agenda 21 and others, where, and I played the Maury Strong clips and Ted Turner clips, and where they're going to shut everything off. They're going to shut your health care off. They're going to jack up all your fuel prices. They're already doing it. They're going to put crap in the food and water where you get so sick, you collapse into the system, and it's there helping you, and it'll give you the morphine drip. And now they've come out and said, and we're going to no longer allow you to be buried or cremated. They're going to put you into a tank that renders you down for farm fertilizer. That's all been announced. So it's Soylent Green, how they're going to process all of us, and they're just going to start killing everybody. They're already doing it. And I've got to read them how they're doing it, and I'm like, what are we going to do to stop this craziness? Our viewers have demanded it, so now you're going to get it. More pro-Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I-beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review, and more. Coming in the month of June to the Info War. You know what? Uh, somebody in the wrong cannot stand up against somebody who's in the right who keeps on a coming. And the point is, I know what I'm talking about, okay? I mean, you know what it's like to go over a 200-page document like I did last night, scanning through it, probably read half of it again, and to have the memories of all their other reports that they've now gotten done, and then this means I'll be sitting here, if I'm lucky, in 10 years, reading and, and the next report, and all of this would have been done, the U.N. model occupation of a federal mercenary force, the overthrow of due process, spy networks, and, and, and what's crazy is it is a U.N. implosion model. Just like the Soviets would take over a country, cut off the resources to bankrupt everybody for a couple of years to then break their will and then reorganize things under insider's control. It's a criminal instinct. And just like Mao did that with a great leap forward, Cultural Revolution, and just like the EU's doing with its high taxes that the insiders are exempt from, this is a criminal monopoly takeover. It is like robbing a bank. I mean, it is totally 100% from every angle, inside and out, a criminal takeover. And this is nothing. The physical occupation is at least something people are going to be able to see. And the staged domestic terror attacks, they say, are going to start, which you saw at Boston. 
By the way, one of the roommates, one of the witnesses, said the FBI wants to come talk to me. I know they're going to kill me. They got him in custody and shot him in the head. You know, oh, FBI wants to talk to Alex Jones, and he died during questioning. I mean, I mean that, that, that's the headline here. That could happen to anybody. That's how it works in the third world. Oh, he, he uh, it said the FBI agent didn't need to go to the hospital. They're not going to say what it was, but uh, he may have uh, pulled his hand away. So we shot him a couple times in the head. FBI kills Tamerlan acquaintance. Told friends he thought the FBI was coming to kill him, and they said no. This is America, the friends are quoted as saying. You'll be fine. <laughs> that they count on you not being able to deal with the magnitude. And I, I get that. That's why when I was reading this RAND Corporation document, going back over FM 3-3940, all 300 pages of it, scanning through it, uh, internment resettlement operations, and it talks about the re-education of you and your family. Processing your social security numbers. Uh, you know, the, uh, the, it, it links to the executive orders where they put you in forced labor camps. The Civilian Inmate Labor Camp Program. The Emergency Centers Establishment Act. The Model States Health Emergency Powers Act. The Rural Affairs Commission under uh, Homeland Security and Department of Defense. InfraGuard, clergy response teams. You know, if you work for the system, boy, you better go read all this. You'll be like, oh, that's why they're doing that. Yeah, you need to go. Look, they think... The, they think, again, it's not that they think you're so dumb. They have to hide this in plain view because then the people implementing it think, well, it must be okay. It's hidden in plain view. Kind of like crucifying Christ was done in plain view. Kind of like Aztecs cutting people's hearts out was done in plain view. Meanwhile, we're such nice people that good people just go, oh, you're bossing me around? Let me bow down to you. Oh, you send me le letters just saying, fill out all this for us on a monthly basis or we'll arrest you. And I'm like, but I know the law. There is no law. Shut up. We have men with guns. Well, you know what? I got guns too. And I'm not the one pointing them at people like you. That's why they want our guns, folks. They are going to literally put us in re-education camps. I mean, what's your proof of that? Internment resettlement operations, FM3-39.40, 2010. Go read it. Revolution, flash mobs, and brain chips. A grim vision of the future. London Guardian, same thing out of the British report. The end of the family, the end of sovereignty, everyone poor. Yeah, they're doing it. The Rand Corporation, plan for the emergency reorganization, a sustainability police force of the United States during the engineered collapse. Justification for it. You better go read this, media. I dare, I dare mainstream media. Go read this. Of course, a lot of you probably haven't studied it. I don't know what it means. You're like, well, it says it's for our stability. That there's going to be a federal rapid reaction force that federalizes local police. And it's got the whole command structure and everything else. I mean, here's just some of the police state news I've got today. Cops being trained that cell phones could be guns. The feds are training them. So they're already arresting people for videotaping them. The new thing is to play like it's a gun. I actually saw this five years ago with Luke Radowski. It's in the film Truth Rising. The security guards for uh, Silverstein, they're out there protesting with a permit. Oh, that just told the goons where to go. They go, Larry Silverstein don't like, uh, literally, don't like you protesting. So scram. But I'm going to say that camera's a bum, and you're going to go in the hole for terrorism. Put your phone down. Put it in your pocket. I'll be fine. I need to hold on to it. No, you don't. I need to yes, hold on no, to it. Don't. Yes, I do, sir. No, you don't. Look at her. May I look into inspect it and make sure it's not a firearm? Firearms? A firearm. Yes, As you can see. I need to see your phone. No, it's fine. <laughs> and now you can have, in this case, a little bitty iPhone. I need to make sure it's... How about, how about I need to make sure you're not a tyrant? How about I need to make sure you don't work for Kim Jong-un? Or, or, or how about Satan? How about you're the danger in history? I saw this security guard video from Ohio that's gone viral. Put it up on Infowars.com yesterday, where there's been a pileup on the highway. The people kept to get off the highway. They're up there on a hill taking photos of the giant car pileup. And this woman runs over in a Marine Corps drill sergeant outfit that looks like a clown with, with, with the shirt about three inches in front of her hands and starts screaming at him, get out of here. And they go, okay, well, if you ask, nice. So she assaults the woman, and the woman beats her up, but only to protect herself. 
and the security guard has now lost her job. But I mean, this, this is just the lunacy. This is the lunacy of what's going on in this country. And we're getting videos. I mean, they tried to put people in Illinois in jail for life for videotaping police. Under wiretapping laws that don't even apply. They're filming us. They're breaking in our records without any any warrant. But then, but then we're not supposed to be able to videotape them in public when there's no perception of privacy. And, and that's the new article. Cops being trained that cell phones could be guns. New tactic attempts to limit YouTube clips of police brutality. I mean, this country, folks, this, this is North Korea. They are turning us into North Korea. Then we've got news like this I'm going to get to after some calls. Watford police fear possible crime and disorder at Bilderberg after the mayor said that. She's like an oracle of Delphi. You just go to the mayor there north of London. And so the police chief says, you know, we're not going to give a permit now uh, for a local group uh, at a, a local field where someone's offered to let them use their field. We don't allow you to assemble because England's so free unless we say so. <laughs> and now I have the, uh, w w the police captain wants to talk to me. I, I haven't had time to call him yet since yesterday, but I'm going to be calling him. And I'm told he's a listener and my friend. Well, we'll see about that. You're my friend? Well, uh, if you are not a pure tyrant, I'm surprised you've got a job. Because they like people in the West that are part of the... Let me read to you. The Stability Police Force for the United States. And you have the same thing. That's why they've now got checkpoints in England, all over the streets and the roads, searching everyone and shoving people up. Everyone. Your daughter, they're going to go in her pants too. Because <laughs> it's all part of the Stability Police Force. And notice in the Rand Corporation Stability Police Force document, 14, 15 years old, just now updated. It shows the Homeland Security black and blue trucks that are out there watching the Tea Party and harassing everyone. Isn't that sweet? No matter where you are in the world, you, you know, you, you, you can be in D.C., you can be in Sydney, Australia. I've seen the footage. You can be in Austin, Texas, and just filming out in public. And then they'll walk over and go, what are you filming? Oh, I was filming the Capitol. Looks, I'm a tourist. I need to see your ID. Uh, it's all about just and about the cops submitting and, and, and making you submit to show they'll do mindless stuff. And it's about you submitting. And then you're like, oh, here you are. Hey, do I, what's something going on? No, it's routine. You're being put in a database. <laughs> yeah, yes. So good, isn't it? It's going to get a lot better. For all of you that love it, don't worry. All the prosperity, all the freedom, all the honor, all the dignity, you know, betraying your ancestors, betraying all the veterans that fought and died for supposed liberty, but just, just signing on to your own death warrant. Woohoo! Yeehaw! Jeehaw! Is that you're really supposed to say it? Jeehaw! Let me, let me show viewers something before I get into the IRS thing. If you just joined us, I'm going to give the number out and take calls. Coming up in the next hour, <clears throat> I, I talk a lot about this, but I thought, you know, on this Wednesday edition, I should just give you kind of a big picture thing for media, because I know the New York Times listens and the Washington Post and basically everybody else, they write articles every day now. Uh, in, in uh, you know, big corporate media uh, demonizing us. So I thought just for those reporters, you should know what's in store for you uh, and your family. Uh, internment and resettlement operations, re-education camps for the American people, 2010 FM 3-39.40. We mention that a lot. It's how to process you and your family into domestic camps. Uh, uh, here's London Guardian reporting on the same plan uh, over in England. Revolution, flash mobs, brain chips, and a grim vision of the future. That's a six-year-old program in England. Uh, which which follows and references this. They've been putting this out since the early 90s, but I first read it in 1998. It's been updated again. Don Salazar is doing an article on it right now. Uh, the Rand Corporation. This is who really, if you want to say one group, advises the CFR, Bilderberg Group, Trilateral Commission. This is the people. And I've interviewed some of their insiders before. We're going to add that to the article. A sustainable police force for the United States, justification options for creating U.S. capabilities. Uh, uh, again, a stability uh, police force for the United States, justification and options for creating U.S. capabilities. That sounds real reasonable. And you read it and everything and you get into it. And it's how they're going to federalize all the police. 
and how it's a UN model of occupation uh, of the country. And it describes how they've occupied Iraq and Kosovo and other areas and how that's the model for doing this and getting rid of local police. And there'll still be local police, but even how to pick out select ones and make it like really cool to be a federal minion and more money. And then pretty soon everybody wants to be in it. Kind of like first it was only select SWAT teams in L.A. That was Rand Corporation too in the 60s. And then now everybody's got to be a SWAT team. And so, you know, you, you, you've got a police force of five people, say, in some tiny town. But when they pull your son or daughter or you over, you're like, Bill, why are you wearing a helmet and got a gun at my head? Why are you hyperventilating? Out on the ground, you may be a terrorist. Or if you go to city council and want to complain, going, hey, you guys are trying to raise taxes, and I want to speak for three minutes. That is not allowed. Arrest him, deputies. You see that all over America. Because they list, and, and our report's going to have this in it, Local police departments are being federalized, special units, and it says in the unit, well, we're anti-terrorism and for protest and civil disturbance. See, terrorism now segues from Al-Qaeda to Tea Parties, gun owners, libertarians, that's all official, to protesting, period. And it, it, and it says in here, it's the UN model, all of it. So I'm going to be... Uh, going over some of that. In fact, if you just give me a document camera right here, since we're doing that, I can actually show people the hard copy uh, of this, and uh, I'll, uh, you know, like I said, go over some of that uh, in the next hour. I've got it marked out here. I'm going to do a whole report later in the week with it all highlighted. I just read this again yesterday. So uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Leaked Army document outlines plan for re-education camps in America. Army then put it on their own site, like hiding it in plain view. Yeah, that's ours. Big deal. Of course, you might arrest whistleblowers. Uh. So we're trying to put you in a Soviet re-education camp. I mean, that's what the good guys do. I mean, Mal was a good guy. I mean, you heard Seven Czar said so. It must be true. And it just goes over all of that. So that's just some of what we're going to We're occupied, folks, by a bunch. They've gone and found people. and Because here's the deal. This Rand Corporation document, this is the same worldwide. This is, it, th when you read this, Australia's done this. Germany's done this. Uh, it's the best technology of tyranny, so Russia's copying it. A lot of it's actually borrowed from Russia. So it's kind of back and forth, you know, both sharing. Uh, all the, they, they hired, the Pentagon did, to implement this. Marcus Wolf, the former head of the Stasi. That's why people go, this is like the Stasi. Oh, it's not like the Stasi. You're going to a major trade show to sell the most expensive Italian shotguns in the country. You're the co-owner, son of the, the grandson of the founder. You've got seven ornate shotguns, and the cops come and arrest you, even though it's totally legal, because they had to worship the mindless tattling. And, and, and it was on the news. Terrorism. Denver cops arrest Italian shotgun manufacturer as a terrorist. That, the news says that. It's terrorism to legally go to show seven models you're trying to sell to distributors. I mean, I'm sitting here watching all this unfold, and, and, and I'll tell you the good news. I believe these are real scandals right now. The IRS, the hacking gate, all of it. People are really upset, and they're ready for that. They, they talk in Rand Corporation about people will resist, we'll use that to change our war games and... You know, gradually then learn to adapt. They use us resisting to get stronger. The only thing that will defeat them is breaking compartmentalization with the people at the Rand Corporation. In fact, I have this journalist on who was allowed to be in the Rand Corporation and write a book about it. Um, I forget his name. Will you call it Don Salazar in here? He pointed out I had the guy on. He's putting his article. His Alex something, Abea. Yeah, yeah, Alex Abeas. You know, top best-selling author, history author. They let him in. He goes, yes, it's a world government, basically Nazi takeover plan to end humanity as we know it and merge with machines. Well, of course it is. I mean, I, I, the guy had like a number one New York Times bestseller on World War II. They liked him. They, the only guy they ever let in there out in L.A. But I don't need to be let in there, man. I mean, their own public stuff is like Hitlerian to the max. And, I mean, they're talking about a U.N. occupation control during the collapse of America and even down to what colored the armored vehicles would be.
and how there'll be IED attacks and black armored vehicles are needed. And this was in 1998, and now it's all here. And let me tell you, if they convert and get the rest of this done, again, they're gearing up for a total collapse of society bigger than just a money devaluation. They're going to they're gonna release bioweapons. I, I, the more I read this, it's bioweapons. And, and even those of you that survive it will still serve it. You'll just be glad to be alive. I just can't believe it. And once it starts, it's going to be really horrible. They're going to kill billions of people. I, I, just, I just, it's so horrible. And the only way to stop it is for the idiots that are even within the system. You're not going to be protected. See, that's what World War Z is all about. The book. And they've done some rewrites and changes. I've been told by some Hollywood insiders since our criticism and others' criticisms. I don't know what the final product's going to be. <clears throat> but in it, they say, Marxism is what saved us. And our problem was American libertarians and conservatives, and the zombies helped us kill them. We can handle a Robinson Caruso, but not the Patriots. And it's the voice of Mark Hamill. I also listen to the book on tape. And... Uh, and it's like, yeah, you know, the UN took over the world. The zombies helped us build this utopia. Thank God for the zombies wiping out the general public. There were too many of us. And but all the elitists, all the tacticians, they got to stay on the ships, which they're actually they, they were going to go with underground bunkers. The movies, it's always space stations. That's the allegory. They were going to go with underground bunkers. And that's part of it. But the main thing is ships. And, and when you see World War Z, that's it. They fly, you know, the guy that's the insider out, you know, to, to him and his family, he, he, he works with them. And this movie is pointed at everybody to get us ready for martial law, but it's pointed at doctors, scientists, special forces, people like that. Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered uh, the power to harness and use fire, we were involved in agrarian activities. That is taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants, fruits, vegetables, nuts, you name it. And the globalists have been going after gardening. They've been harassing people that have gardens in their front yards or their backyards. They've called for licenses for people to have gardens because you can't trust prisoners in the police state America to be able to grow their own food. That's why I've come to the realization that we need to become self-sufficient. You need to be informed. You need to have the Second Amendment to protect yourself. You need to be politically active to wake up others. You need to filter your water. But you also need to plant a garden. Even if you live in an apartment, you can do this. If you live in the countryside, obviously you can do it on a grand scale. There are so many green belts in areas uh, that humans don't even visit uh, nearby cities and in suburbs where people are now more and more planting their own little private gardens and meadows and off the side of the road. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest of times. The ARC All-in-One Seed Kit contains 70 varieties of 50,000 seeds of fruits, vegetables, medicinal, and culinary herbs. All ARC seeds are heirloom. Each type is labeled and sealed separately for ease of use and longevity. The Deluxe Emergency Seed Bank combines three of Emergency Seed Bank's top sellers. The Family Survival Emergency Seed Bank, the Medicinal Herb Seeds Pack, and the Culinary Herb Seeds Pack. We also have starter varieties of the deluxe seed packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, and medicinal herbs and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. A little seed can grow a huge tree that produces fruit for up to 50 years. We have the best life bombs. That's what these are. We have the best weapons against death out there at the lowest prices waiting for you to lovingly plant them and lovingly grow them and lovingly eat them and share them with others. 
we will strike back against the New World Order, and this is only one more initiative in our fight against them. So please join us at InfoWarsShop.com, or you can link through at InfoWars.com at the InfoWars Seed Center. Uh, let's talk to John in Florida. Uh, you're on the air. Welcome. Uh, good afternoon, Alex. Uh, John here in Florida, and I've got some things here that are right on target confirming the U.N. occupation movement in Florida. Um, let, let me announce the, the first, the, the biggest one here that should be closest to target, and that is the Readiness Center of Miramar, uh, Florida. It's located on a 30-acre site in the city of Miramar. Uh, it consists of a 100,000 square foot readiness center building, uh, 3,000 square foot uh, maintenance building for parking, 456 privately owned vehicles, as well as 200,000 square feet set aside for military owned vehicles. Project estimated at $20 million. Bid date due May 29th, 2013. Yeah, no, no. The, the, under the Emergency Centers Establishment Act, they're taking all the old bases and things and turning these into them. And, and, and then they have all these drills in the cities to acclimate everyone that, oh, what the FBI just do? Oh, they just killed your neighbor. Yeah, he might have resisted. Oh, it's no big deal. And, and it's just now you're like, oh, here, yeah, the cops were questioning him, shot him in the head. Oh, well, it's no big deal. Yeah. Oh, they took your bank account too. Yeah. They, yeah. And this is the new America. What do you, what do you make of the uh, info I was covering with the Rand Corporation? As you read this document, it, it openly says the UN model of occupation for America. Oh, it, it, it's believable. It's it, it's hiding in plain sight. They've got these readiness centers going up all over the country, but that's that's not all. We've got HB 1355 on Governor Rick Scott's desk right now. The Senate passed, Florida Senate passed it, and this is the gun control bill that's going to say that if anyone is deemed uh, psychologically incapable of of having a firearm, and this is whether they are they they, they willingly or unwillingly consent to treatment. They uh, they will have their Second Amendment stripped from them. That's oh no no, they're trying to pass that in Texas, where the police say you're mentally ill, and then it's just your guns are all gone. It's like, oh, I don't want your guns, just only if I say you're mentally ill. Well, I say the government's mentally ill. A bunch of out of control, foaming at the mouth control freaks. Is it heartening to you to see real anger over the IRS, or will they just use this to further acclimate people? It, it, you know. It, it's ridiculous. Everybody's got to stand up and say, start screaming. You know, it's just not the, that's, that's the, one of the other things. You, you might remember the fluoride thing with Pinellas County. Well, they put it back into the water. Are you also? That's right. A million you people in Pinellas County are 990,000 or whatever it is. You, you jerk the fluoride out when Harvard came out and said, okay, it does lower IQ, brain damage. It's deadly. Get it out. Even Harvard, you know, indexing 24 other big studies. And, and then it doesn't matter. The money flowed in, they put it back in your water. Hey, here, and here's another thing. The U.N., as far as re restricting the resources, most people are totally unaware of this. This has happened under cover of darkness. I reached out to Rosa Corey about this. U.N. Agenda 21. They are about to, to pull access of the Florida Everglades from the public. No, I know, because they the, say, well, no, that's why the state police, if you drop a, a sandwich wrapper on accident, your felony arrest, a guy released two balloons with hearts on them, felony, charges, five years in prison, and it was for a, a crime against the environment. I mean, the mayor of San Francisco said, oh, I met with the uh, makers of the uh, Green Police Audi ad. You got to boycott Audi because of this. And then we're just getting, I mean, a, about a year after I said this, they came out and bragged they're getting you ready. Have you seen the Green Police ad? Well, yes, I have. In fact, I've seen it in in, in, in uh, my child's nursery school hanging on the wall. I've already covered a ton of news today. I'm proud that I got that done, but I got a ton of other economic news and this big breakdown of the Rand Corporation and their plan to federalize and globalize the police. And it actually says it is a U.N. stabilization occupation program and how they're going to even get rid of the feds. It's all just going to be run by the Pentagon, and that's Brigade Homeland. But it's all right here. The new version, they put a new one out every year, is here. You want to know what else they're planning? They've gotten most of it done. And the U.S. military prisoner policies and re-education for you and your family. It's, uh, I don't know, mainstream media. I don't think you're going to go read this, though. It's too much fun to laugh at us. You're not going to look at the uh, London Guardian reporting on it.
or maybe internment resettlement operations. Uh, they're going to process you and your family with your social security numbers domestically and uh, suspend the Bill of Rights. And bottom line, this is it. The globalists have taken over the central government. They are bankrupting you as a way to transfer the wealth, but also to make you so poor you're dependent on them. We are being conquered right now, and the United States is under sustained attack. While they collapse the country, they then pose as the stability force, and the cops and the bureaucrats and all them actually follow a blueprint in their mind of where they're here to stabilize things, and they wonder why everything starts falling apart. Three years ago when they, quote, bailed out GM, that was all staged, it was in there in the agreement to move uh, most of the factories that are left out of Detroit, out of Texas, out of a bunch of other areas, Ohio, to Brazil, uh, Eastern Europe, and China. And then it was big news, as you know, two weeks ago that uh, that's now officially been done. Cadillac, Volt, uh, Escalade, a uh, bunch of other stuff. That's just in China. And again, though it's all actuary where it doesn't help the Brazilians. Same thing with the Chinese. <laughs> they got suicide nets and stuff, you know, at a lot of the factories. It's to drive everything down. To, 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 they don't want a beautiful rising society. They want a rotting, destructive society. Because if it's not rotting, you might run your own life. And they want you destitute. So again, you notice as we embrace globalism, all the liberty, all the prosperity goes out the window. Like a submarine with screen doors. That's what's so frustrating about it. I read the Rand Corporation documents. I know everything they're going to do. You could know everything they're going to do. You've got to know the U.S. code. You've got to read, you know, 50 of their past reports. You've got to know about... Other military, I mean, yeah. the problem is not a lot of people have done this research. I've made four films on a police state. I've been to the urban drills. I know how they couch all this stuff. I know their program. And it is a paramilitary takeover in slow motion, Red Dawn in slow motion, but it's not North Koreans doing it. It's foreign banks. Oh, and by the way, they're just using economics to get control of the resources so they can turn the food off under PDD, presidential directives, and uh, State Department memorandum Have one of those moments, State Department memorandum. 200. Guys, look up Henry Kissinger's State Department memorandum on population reduction. I think it's memorandum 200, but I'm not sure. As soon as my memory fails because of being mentally tired, I'll. Uh... Armed Homeland Security Guards protect IRS from Tea Party protesters. That's an Infowars.com story linked on the left hand side of the mighty DrudgeReport.com. And again, if we can wake America up to the secret army now going public against us, the military itself will stand down. That's why Rand Corporation says you've got to get select people out of the military, psychologically test them, and have a mercenary force that has corporate and government power. And it talks about local police not going along with it. And so how do you, you get a federalized cadre in the local police... And then you make it real sexy to be part of it, and then everybody else will clamor to be in it. I mean, this is all just treason beyond treason. And they've got most of the police chiefs now as federal toadies. It's all about fear, and they think you're scared, so they're going to take everything. And I guess you are, and so everything's gone. You should be afraid of laying down. You should be afraid of encouraging them. But America's instinct is land of the coward, home of the jellyfish, and just if you lay out in front of them, everything will be cool. I mean, where are the men in this country? I guess you're out there. I know you listen to my show. Where are the women? And I guess people are starting to get angry. And I saw the video of the armed Homeland Security guards getting in people's faces of the Tea Party that went and protested. And I love that the Tea Party would just go get in their face. Because guys would come stand in black suits and just go, mm, like, and the Tea Party would walk over and start talking to them. Like, oh, hey, let's talk about what you did with a sign in their hand. Because let me tell you, you stand there in a black Secret Service outfit or a cop uniform, the average person rolls over like a dog on their back and starts, you know what dogs do. And there's your federal police, folks. There's your federal police. They run America now. Or the foreign banks. And I actually know some 
federal marshals, people like that. On average, they're out, you know, doing real stuff. But more and more, the, the main force is to go after the American people. Yeah, if you keep playing the video, it goes to the guy in the dark suit, kind of staring at everybody. He just, I'm wearing a dark suit. I work at the IRS. I terrorize people all day. Who are you, slave? Shake in fear. Shake in fear. We're going to go to break, come back to a little bit of overdrive and go to Julio and some more callers, people that have been holding patiently. Um, these are the times that try men's souls. And again, only restoring the republic, only restoring American values, only rediscovering the Bill of Rights Constitution. I know it's extreme. Due process, rule of law, all those horrible, evil things that George Washington talked about. Only that will set us free. And it was all inspired by our creator as well. Does that mean America's been perfect? No. But uh, the churches are bought off and paid for it because they're all being audited and harassed. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. Infoworth.com. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I judge what is the secret of the universe. <laughs> Infoworth.com. Yeah. <laughs> hey.